Back to the Mr. Excel Netcast, I'm Bill Jelen. Quick trick today on using WordArt. WordArt is in the drawing toolbar. allows you to create great headings above your reports or something like that to add some visual interest. The first step is to choose one of the styles from the WordArt gallery. Click OK. In the Enter WordArt text, you can actually enter a couple of different lines. So you can enter the first line, hit Return, and then the second line. Click OK. And you get kind of a default word art. Now, there's lots of things that you can do to change the word art. Um, the first thing here is the word art shape, where you can choose any sort of a different, uh, you know, wave one, wave two, all kinds of interesting different shapes that you can use for your word art. And then finally, the other interesting thing that you can do is change the colors of the word art. So while the 30 styles in the gallery um, come with these can colors, instead, you could choose your own color. For example, I'll choose a fill effect kind of go a gradient from maybe brown to orange or something like that, something that, that matches the theme, and you can quickly customize the word art to match your own style. Hey, today is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving in the United States. Tomorrow we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Take a long weekend off. This will be the last podcast until Monday, although I invite you to stop by MrExcel.com on Friday morning. Um, one of the funny things here in the United States is we have these great doorbuster sales you're supposed to go to Best Buy and camp out at 4 a.m. so that we can buy a $19 DVD player or something like that. I'm going to have special deals on a lot of our books Friday morning, three hours only, from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Stop by and you'll get a great deal on some of our books. Have a great holiday. We'll see you on Monday for another netcast from Mr. Excel.